It was a Saturday Max special at the Roundhouse on Richland that was sealed with the Nature Boy Slam. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Final score in heroic fashion, Ohio 63, Buffalo 61. The Bobcats are now 7-10 and 10 on the season and 2-4 and four in Mid-American Conference play, clearly rolling the momentum with Mo Endor and the rest of the Cats on the Saturday against Buffalo. So here was the situation. Tie ball game at 61. Last offensive play of the game for Ohio. Throw it down the floor. Mo Endor caught it at the foul line. He said the play was run for Bean Willis for a three. However, the defender gambled. So therefore, Mo had a streak down the green lane for a ferocious slam, and the convo went nuts. It was drawn up well because it was practiced well the day before. Saul Phillips said they ran that play in practice yesterday, and it came into practice in game fashion on Saturday. You can't draw it up any better. It was one of the best X's and O's play call finishes to a regular season MAC game that you will ever see, and you know I've seen a lot of MAC basketball over the years. It was a good one. Ohio was down by seven in the second half, and they were able to come from behind and win. Maybe this is a game, much like the Ball State game, that could roll things along for the Cats moving forward. Here's how it looked and sounded on Saturday in Athens. Game. Over to the right side on the drive. It's Bearden actually stopped beyond the arc. Now a slash into the color. Straight on now Evans. Ball fake. Jump stop. Mac logo. Corner right. Regan for three. Missed it strong. Rebound to the other side. Evans. He gauged that so well. Goes up against Endor. Banked it in. He had 17 the other night. Ryan Taylor, right wing three. Bang! Ryan Taylor left to the paint, handed off to Endor, pocket left. Guarded by Wigington, throws into the post now. It's Ryan Taylor, turns, banked it up. And left to the paint, it's Campbell. Spun around Johnson, got to the rack and laid it in. And even if it went the other way, we'd be surprised the whistle would be uh, whistled B. Saul is still fired up mad. High on the left side, it's Bean Willis for the Cats. Six and ten on the year, one and four in Mac play. Endor, free space, runs all the way in the lane against two. Muscled up a shot, banked it in. And now between the circles, over to the right side, Wigginton lost the ball as he tried to go between his legs. Tied up, ball stripped away, still loose, still loose. Picked up by Ohio, that's a great job defensively. Here comes Bean into the front court now. High on the right for three. Bang! Yep, delayed it there, waited too long, and now you have, uh, Wild you've had Wadley on the floor. That's a good matchup. Stevie Taylor to Endor, corner left, three, bang! 29. In between the circles for Buffalo, behind a screen from Moss. High in the left wing now, Evans on Mont Premier with six and five, teardrop of the right hand, and he got it. Here comes Ohio with Taylor, really nearly out of control. Ball deflected away, ends up with Bearden, who runs down the floor for a layup. Now it's Taylor at the top, still dribbling, still goes right of the paint, in deep layup, yes, by Mo Endor. Eight, he's way out high with seven, now with six, now with five, now he drives right side, all the way in deep baseline right, flings it to Regan, who goes up, shot blocked away by Endor. By Bearden, throws it high on the right to Endor, sideline right now, backs his way down on Ford, ran over Ford, no call, laid it in. Buffalo has it now as Moss throws it over to Evans at the top. 22 to shoot. Left side, ski for three and a tie. We're tied. He buried the three. Endor's at the foul line by Ohio's bucket. Tony Campbell will inbound it. Ford on him. 3.2 seconds left. They heave it down the floor to Endor. Catches, dribbles, the foul line. After Wednesday night, we asked the question, what would Ohio do if they're not shooting very well from three? Now, they didn't shoot horribly from three in this ball game on Saturday, but what they were able to do was get the ball inside, get post touches, get to the foul line. Buffalo had 100 fouls in the second half, and Ohio was able to get to that foul line, traverse that gap, and then on the final play, of course, it was a rim run for a stuff for Mo. Now, the ball club goes on the road, up to the Michigans next. Eastern Michigan Tuesday, Mount Pleasant for Central Michigan next Saturday. Will Ohio be 4-4 four and four coming back home after this tough road test next week? We'll find out next home game comes on February the 7th. All Crins on Saturday in a classic ball game. Ohio 63, Buffalo 61. For the entire Ryan Cochran-led Bobcat TV crew, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and yes, this is... Bobcat TV.